Alright guys, what we're doing here is I bought a generator transfer switch for my 5500 watt generator and we're going to be mounting this here to our panel. Shouldn't take much more than about an hour or so to do. Right now I'm just running a wire down here. Okay, we've securely mounted the box to the panel alongside on the wood uh, piece of plywood that's there. I've removed the front cover that has the voltage meters and what we're going to do is tie in our uh, appropriate sized uh, wire and uh, mount it directly from the outlet outside. Okay, so we've successfully run our wire down, use the uh, wire clamp, and we have run that through. Now what we're going to do is cut this lead wire that's coming from the generator, and we're going to cut that and tie it in directly to the transfer case. That's a new uh, vice grip tool that I picked up because I couldn't find my lineman pliers and uh, so far I like it. And last we're going to do the ground. So what I've done here in the panel, it's a 200 amp box, is I've gone and listed the um, outlets that I want to power. We've got two more to go. Really what we're doing is uh, we've disconnected, shut off the breakers that we need to run. We've carefully pulled out the wire and we've joined it with a black wire and we plug it, the red wire, into the uh, fuse. Okay, so I've uh, zip-tied some of my wires here, and uh, now we're going to flip on some of these, slowly flip on our breakers. This one. And uh, this one here is remaining, this is my air conditioner, so it's winter obviously now, so I'm going to go over here and flip this on. You see you can have it on off, generator, or line. I'll flip it to line. This is for the furnace. Hopefully, lights are starting to go off. Hey, we got lights upstairs, I just heard my wife say. So that's a good thing. So now we're going to button this up and uh, 
We'll give it a test to see if it works. It sounds good. It sounds like power. We have the furnace running now. Um, everything here, as you can see, is on line. And the power is back up. Now when the power comes off, due to electrical uh, storm or, you know, whatever, or surge, we'll fire up the generator and we'll come down here and we'll flip each one of these over to the generator setting. These are the breakers up at the top. And uh, the things I'm gonna be running are basically the, uh, the furnace, which you can hear over there. And I got a fridge in the back corner of the basement. And uh, I have um, some pump. You might not be able to see that, but some pump out there and um, some other lights and stuff. Um, TV's important. Have that, or direct TV, some outdoor lights, which aren't really that important. A freezer, that's important. Refrigerator upstairs in the kitchen. And then uh, upstairs lights. Uh, those are the ones that I'm, I'm running. And uh, it wasn't hard to do. It was really easy. Um, and it went well. So what we're going to do this weekend is we are going to test it. So uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'm not completely off the grid like Gaudi, but hey, uh, if anything happens, I know that I'll be in good shape. I'll be able to watch my TV, get news and sports and all that other stuff, and uh, keep my food nice and cold. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you're thinking about doing one of these, hopefully this video will help you out. But remember, if you have any reservation of working on an electrical box, please hire an electrician. It's not a lot of money to do it. Just call an electrician, they'll come in and do it. Don't use this video. Please do not use this video uh, to, to do this type of work. I did it because I'm completely comfortable working in there and uh, but if you're not or you have even second thoughts of doing it please don't do it it's just not worth it all right please rate comment and subscribe we'll see you in the next one